Welcome to our YouTube channel. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and sharing brilliant questions. Here is another one from one of our students. We need to figure out equation of a tangent which is parallel to the given tangent and perpendicular to a line. You can always join my classes by sending an email on the address given. Let us now enjoy the journey of success and look into the solution of this question. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Map Institute. In this important series on calculus, we have taken a very important question based on derivatives. I hope this question helps you to learn some techniques and strategies. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. The problem given to us is the curve C is defined by y equals to 2x plus 4 whole cube. Two of the tangents to the curve are perpendicular to the line. One of them is y equals to 24 times x plus 3 minus 8. Find the equation of the other line, other tangent line. I hope the question is absolutely clear. You can pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestions. Now let's try to analyze and figure out how do we solve this question. We are given the equation of the curve as y equals to 2x plus 4 whole cube. Now that is a cubic function which will be drawn let me sketch this, right? Kind of like this. Right? So that's the kind of cubic function where the zero will be at a point which is minus two, right? So at minus two, we have a zero. The x-intercept. We are saying that Two of the tangents to the curve are perpendicular to the line. Equation of line is not given to us. But equation of tangent is given to us. One of them is y equals 2. So let me write tangent equation. And that is y equals 2. 24x plus 3 minus 8. So 24 is a gradient, right? So we can write down that gradient is 24. What is the point? Can you tell me that? Now this is kind of key for the solution of this question. If you see the equation of line, it's very clear that the point is minus 3 minus 8. Perfect. So let us now draw the tangent to the curve. Let us say on the left side of minus 2, we have this particular line which is tangent, right? So approximately something like this. Well, the point which we are talking about is right there, which is minus 3 minus 8. Where could the other tangent be? Well, the other tangent will be on this side parallel to the given line as you can see. Let me again sketch this line. I don't know how it vanished. Okay. Let me erase it, do it again. Uh, 
okay. So the, the other tangent will be on the other side, which could be like this, right? We need to find equation of this particular line and definitely the point. So from the figure, I think some of you can guess the point and the equation of the line without even doing the calculus part, right? Oh, let us understand. How do we now proceed forward and answer the question? And you can see from here that we could have a tangent line, which could be something like this. Let me sketch one. So any line, so you can see that these two tangents are perpendicular, right, to the given line L. Let's call these lines as L1 and L2. So equation of L1 is given to us. We need to find equation of L2. Now, we don't know this point, so let's label this point as AB. Perfect. We know that the slope of line 2 is same as line 1 since they are parallel. From the given equation of the curve, we can actually find the slope. So let's find the slope. Y prime will be 3 times 2x plus 4 whole square times the derivative of inside function, which is 2, right? Let me write d dx of 2x plus 4, right? So I can now write this as 3 times 2x plus 4 whole square times 2, right? So that becomes the derivative of this particular function. And we know this value is 24. So we can write this as 24. That will help us to find the value of x. That is the value of a. So let me rewrite this on a new page for now. I will write this as derivative expression itself. So let's go to a new page and continue. So we figure out that the function given to us is y equals to 2x plus 4 whole cube. And the derivative of this function is 3 times 2x plus 4 whole square times derivative of inside function, which is 2. Now, at the point at x equals to a, we know that the slope or the gradient is 24. As the other line, we're talking about line L2, is parallel to the given line y equals to 24x plus 3 minus 8, right? So substituting that at x equals to a, we know that the gradient should be 24. And on the right hand side, we get 6 times 2a plus 4 whole square. Now we can easily solve for a. Dividing by 6, we get 2a plus 4 whole square on the right hand side. And this is indeed 4, right? So we get this as equal to 4, which is 2a plus 4 whole square. Now let's take it to the right hand side and solve. We can square root both sides. And what we get is 2a plus 4 equals the square root of plus and minus 4, plus and minus square root of 4, which is plus and minus 2, and that is 2a plus 4. Now we can take 4 on this side, and uh, we get minus 4 plus minus 2 equals to 2a. Dividing by 2, we get minus 2 plus minus 1 equals to a, right? So clearly, we get two different points, values for a. So these values are minus 2, minus 1, which is minus 3, and minus 2 plus 1, which is minus 1. And we know one of the points, which is minus 3 minus 8, has already been considered. So, so the other point is 
where the A value is minus 1, right? So, we can now find the value of the function at minus 1. So, at minus 1, what is the value of the function? Substituting it, we get 2 times minus 1 plus 4 whole cube. And that is 2 cube and that is 8. So, now we know the other point, right? So, so the point is minus 1, 8 and the gradient m is 24 and I hope now you can write down the equation, right? So, we can write down the equation as y minus y1. So, y minus the y point 8 equals to 24 times x minus 1, which is x plus 1, or y equals to 24 x plus 1 plus 8. You get the idea. So, that is how we can get the equation of this particular line. Well, this equation can be written in many different forms. You could write it in slope intercept form, in standard form, or the way we have written it. We wrote it in this form mainly because in the equation itself, it was given similar to it. You can find the similarities between the two equations. Does it make sense to you? Getting back to our question. Do you see from symmetry? Also, we could easily confirm that the other point should be 1 unit to the right and plus 8. You get the idea. So, it confirms our solution. I hope you understand and appreciate the technique involved in solving such a question. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my video, that would be great. You can always contact me on the email address given here to learn more. Thanks for your time and all the best.